welcome back. I'm so excited to share with you today because on the first day of the Chinese Lunar New Year, we were blessed by two big red packets, or we call it Hong Pao. <laughs> and these two pieces of news came in right smack on the first day of the Chinese Lunar New Year, and that's on 1st of February. And that's the reason why today I'm going to go through with you two very tactical, strategic plays that we have outlined since last year, December. And I think it has finally come to pass. So join me right now. Here we go. The first company we're going to look at is ExxonMobil. And you know, this happens in the context of a very, very rising high crude oil prices. And there are three reasons behind it. Number one, we have Russia thinking about evading Ukraine. And the moment you want to spark a war, oil price will go up. Number two, you have the Fed ass from North Korea just firing off the longest ballistic missile that's able to land on Guam, which is the soil of the United States of America. And number three, there's a major energy crisis taking place throughout entire Europe. Now, you have three major global events kind of a crunch together. What will happen to the, stock, the oil price? It can only go up. And that's the reason why we took a very important strategic position into Exxon Mobil and they earned $23 billion in the year 2021. That's like mama, mama, all right? With a $10 billion share repurchase program. This is part of our ambition team that you must only really, really look at companies that announce a stock buyback. And not only that, we are also looking at the profits and revenue saw on higher oil prices. And in fact, if I look right down over here, I mean, there are so many video clips right now talking about rising oil prices put gas prices in the danger zone. Europe could face a crisis if Russia stops gas flow to Europe. And that's the current energy crisis we are looking at. Drivers are crossing state lines to get cheaper gas amid price hikes. $100 oil, this is granted. This is definitely going to break $100 in a matter of weeks, if not months, all right? Germany plans to phase out nuclear energy as Britain's expands it. So all these are news that you look around, you can see it. And what do we do with it? Here we go. So straight away, the moment they announced their earnings, and this is my boggling back then, it was trading at a low price of $76. Let me zoom in a little bit much big, uh, 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 deeper for all of us to take a look. It was trading around 76. And by the time uh, the earnings was announced, it was trading uh, uh, one day before earnings announcement, trading uh, around 76. And straight away, it popped all the way to $80 and above, all right? So this was right on Chinese new, Lunar New Year first day at the opening bell, all right? And then we kind of click on a five day. You know, I keep just keep telling myself, do not sell. <laughs> do not sell. I think we have a price target that crude oil will break $100 per barrel, all right? So this is the part we went through this entire journey and then go through Ding Dong here and stay on the course, all right? So tonight we're gonna to see what's gonna happen right at the opening bell. Now, what you really need to do is to follow me on Twitter. And my Twitter handle is at Clement Chiang right over here. And you know, I, I posted out this, this information that right now we are sitting on 59% unrealized profit. And we expect this position to deliver for us 500% realized profit, all right? So this is patience. We expect crude oil to continue to so up. up. ExxonMobil is going to take a full advantage of the current market backdrop. All right, so this is kind of really, really exciting because I was just panning this out just last month. In fact, last two months in the month of December 2021, we kind of spell out a very, very clear strategy this is the climate of the energy stocks, all right? So this is really, really beautiful play. And I urge you to follow with me on Twitter to get even more timely updates right here, okay? So this is game number one. Oh my gosh. And again, on the first day of the Chinese Lunar New Year, 
at the closing bell. I'm talking about like a closing bell as as on <laughs> as on this morning, all right? At 5 a.m. in the morning Singapore time. There's another big piece of good news that came out. So we count that as 1st of February, all right? Because we follow the US calendar time. And the second big piece of news coming out. Holy moly, are we ready? We caught the biggest stock split ahead of its announcement. Here we go. We are looking at Alphabet's company known as Google announcing a stock split. And this is not a small, small stock split. It's a 20 for 1 stock split. <laughs> so let's say you own X number of shares. You just multiply by the 20x. That will be the new share count you're going to have. Likewise, if you own Y number of contracts, then you multiply 20 against your Y. That's the new number of contracts you're going to own for your options position. And this is really, really mind-boggling because they have a stock split combined with a stock buyback combined with a mind-blowing earnings quarter. They are on the path to join the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And that is the holy of all holy grails, the mama of them all, all right? And we're going to kind of path out a way that we're going to be part of this baptism of fire, right? So go to my Twitter right here. And again, I spell out for you the exact steps. Look for this tweet. And we have a position in Google. We are very, very blessed this time around. And kind of uh, highlight to you what are the steps that you should be looking out for, all right? So step one, there's a stock buyback right here, 13.47 billion of stock just on this quarter to continue to push the stock price up. We believe that Google, we're going to go all the way to 4,000. It's not going to stop at 3,000. It will mama go all the way to 4,000, delivering for us the all-time historical high for Alphabet, all right? Then they announced a 20 for 1 stock split. Now, for stock split, there are, if, there are two important dates that you really, really need to take note of, all right? The first date is the effective date. It will close on the 15, 16, 17, 18, close on the 15 on a Friday, and then on Monday on the 18th of July, everything will trade on the new share price. So the share price will be divided by 20, 20, all right? So if you are, let's say by the time it arrives on 15th of July, it trades all the way to $4,000. Let's make an assumption. You divide it by 20, then the opening price for Alphabet Google, you'll be trading at $200 per share, all right? So that's how we calculate it. And then the good news is if you manage to catch this announcement, you already experienced the big spike of the price. We're going to look at the stock chart in a short while. You own 20 times more stocks or options right after the split. But make sure you cancel all your whatever close to position orders at this moment. Don't forget, go back to account, cancel all the position, wait all the way until 15th of July on the assumption that you have bought together with me before the spike. So dear friends, right now you're officially part of this very, very important milestone, all right? This is, this is the one I'm very, very happy about uh, because not many times in your investing career, you can invest into a position before the mama announcement. And this is the mama of all mama. Stock split with a stock buyback with an induction into the hall of the fame called the Dow Jones Index, all right? So you have completed the baptism of fire as a fellow Google shareholder, all right? More importantly, check this out. Google shareholders as of 1st of July will receive 19 additional shares on 15th of July for every sh share that they held, hold. That means to say, if you want to take part in this stock split, now the price has already moved up. There's no change in the stock split, whether you're going to make more or less money, but you own more shares, that's for sure, all right? So if you want to take part, you should go in between 1st and the 15th of July to own the options contracts or the stock's shares. 
Then on the 18th, you'll be granted a new share count, all right? So trading will begin on a split adjusted basis on July 18. Now I'm going to show you how we go about playing this game, all right? So this is Google. As of the closing bell on the first day of the Chinese Lunar New Year. <laughs> all right. And I'm going to come and click on the five day right here. Dong! And look at this mama, all right? So we are so, so blessed. It closed right up here around trading at 2750. And let me mark out our 2750 right here. And straight off, it spiked all the way to 3042. Right now, I believe it will hit $3,050, all right? So this is really, really powerful stuff. The pre-market already started trading. There's a spike of 10%. Do not rush. We're going to hold out until 15th of July. And this guy is on the path road all the way to $4,000 per share. So I'm really, really excited to share with you today's presentation, not just on ExxonMobil, but also on Google. Two of the companies that we kind of rallied our spiking committee and say, let's go in for the kill, let's go in for the blood. Yes, come to pass. Thank you for your patience. And I believe this is your teacher giving you your biggest rate packet ever in the history of the Chinese Lunar New Year. Thank you so much. And keep make sure keep watching our YouTube videos. Follow me on the Twitter. And as we Twitter, I'll send you like fiery, so many tweets I'm sending out on a per day basis. But every day, every week, we're going to send you the YouTube videos right here and you gonna get the best spiking ideas on planet Earth. With this, thank you so much and God bless you.